Uh, this is the women's side. The Pilgrim Center, we have one side for the women and one side for the men. And uh, the men and women are never allowed in each other's rooms. We don't have facilities for, for married couples yet. So even the married couples, they have to each be on their own side. They can come and stand outside the doors, of course. Uh, or they can come and sit on each other's side of the veranda, but it's the rooms that they're not allowed in. There are four gardens in the Pilgrim Center in each court. This one, as you can see, has like cactus type plants. The rooms are right around the courtyards, as, as uh, Fred may be showing you. Around here, we have rooms that have two beds in them, uh, four beds in them. Uh, we have four rooms that have singles, just one bed in it, and then we have a, what we call our dorm, and there's six beds in it. This courtyard, uh, they're always putting new plants in. This is the one that has um, just always a variety of flowers and stuff. It's, it's just a beautiful place, and you can see we have two kind of bougainvilleas here and lots of birds, which is a lovely sound. You can see the paintings on the outer uh, part of the wall of the dining hall. We have a brochure that um, was put together of the history of the paintings. There are two bathrooms on the women's side, and there's two on the men's side. Anyone in here? Okay, the women's back. This is our bathroom, and uh, we have shower stalls over here. But we have we, the Pilgrim Center doesn't have hot water, so there, we have a system for getting hot water uh, a number of hours in the morning, a number of hours in the afternoon, and you just put your bucket out here during those hot water hours, and the watchman will walk around during those hours, get the bucket, take and fill it with hot water, and put it back here. Then you take it into your stall, and you mix it with the second bucket with cold water, because it can be quite hot. Then dip and pour. We do have showers, but it's cold water. The, the um, toilets themselves, we have eastern and western toilets for the use of people. This is our dorm with the six beds. We don't show the rooms because these are pilgrims' rooms they are staying in them. Even though they're not here right now, most of them are at Marizot at Sunday morning. But still, uh, we don't go into their rooms. We have a medical room here. This is, uh, we have two resident doctors here. Well, Gus Degree from New York and Meringue from France. And we have a registered nurse, Rada. She is Gus's wife. She's from Yugoslavia. <clears throat> we tell the pilgrims, because this is the, the uh, medical staff hours here, we ask them to please come during medical hours unless it's an emergency. And then, of course, if it's an emergency, we send for uh, one of the doctors on call. At night, one of our residents, Michael McDonald, he sleeps here at night should anyone need uh, medical care. Uh, they, they just knock here. Michael will treat him if he can. If not, he will send for one of the doctors. Um, this is the cupboard where we keep the, the uh, clean laundry until we put it out in the dining hall, which you did see the dining hall. The system here is for a UV filtered water. All the water that comes on Maribel's property is chlorinated. And then we put it through a, a special UV filtered system. Our medical staff checks this twice a day. So it's probably some of the safest water you'll find here in India. We have cups along the little hooks here, or glasses. Uh, these are community ones, which means everybody uses them. So people are requested to drink Indian style, which is like this. You have your own glass in your cupboard, should you <laughs> find yourself full of water. Um, and uh, you can, of course, put that to your mouth. And as often as you want, need or want, you can exchange it in the kitchen. Just give any of the workers your glass, they'll give you a clean one. This is where all the cooking and preparation is for the Pilgrim Center. No omissions, but it's not, they're not busy cooking, so we'll come in and show you how they prepare things. These are a couple of the women that work here with Alan. Say baba bai, say baba. And they do their cooking here, the preparing of the food. And then, let's go over this way. In this room here, 
It's where all the dishes and drains are stored that they use. You can see. Back here, the women, <laughs> vegetables, they clean them and cut them up. Say baba bye. Say baba, and you can see they're making chapatis over here. Uh, directly from the hot fire. And here's what we hear where they keep um, them in the, what we call pinbrus. They now have a freezer system here, refrigerator system, and uh, the storage of more of the vegetables. And this is, a, this is an oven that we use. And this one here. <laughs> 